winterization and operational use of your water heater. Again, this is a suburban water heater. Okay. So this is the back of what a suburban water heater looks like. You'll find it in some, some trailer coaches will have it in different places, but wherever you locate it outside, you'll know where that's to be found on the inside. So the suburban water heater has valves coming out at the bottom and valves coming out at the top. So the top one is the hot water section. The bottom one is the cold water section. So water can come into the water heater and heat and come out. So there's also a hose that is attached from the bottom to the top and this is called your bypass hose. There are also valves attached to it. Now some suburban water heaters will have one valve and some will have two. In this case there are two and you can't quite see them but they're at the bottom. So if those valves on those are pointing towards that middle hose, that means it is in the bypass mode. So in order to have water filled into your water heater, you need to open up those hoses, which means you're just gonna turn them from the direction that they're pointing towards that hose and turn it so that it's facing the water heater. So that means it's opening it up. So then your water heater can now take water in. So as you're taking water into your water heater, you wanna make sure you open up a water tap so the hot water tap essentially because as water fills in that water heater it accumulates air so it has to burp out of a line someplace so have a hot water tap open as you're filling your water heater